This is a homemade filler cap for a Berman GB gearbox, uh, late 1950s, probably vintage, uh, for aerial motorcycles. Uh, I made a few of these a number of years ago because I couldn't find any online that weren't completely bollocked up. And the original ones uh, are cast so that the hexes are not quite parallel, so they do tend to get mangled. And I uh, had the lathe, so I thought I'd try making some. Uh, they were very tedious to make the way I was doing them. Uh, the original process was I'd make these billets uh, and cut the uh, thread uh, major diameter and thread relief, and then thread, which on my lathe means hand cranking the spindle. Uh, very tedious. Uh, I'd then take this and uh, have this uh, jig here as a thread gauge, and we'd thread these onto these and then mount that in the rotary table cut the inside using a quarter inch uh, round nose end mill uh, and then they'd be put back in the lathe again uh, they'd be cut off uh, in the lathe using the cutoff tool cut the outside profile and then put it back in the rotary table to uh, cut the hex took a very long time uh, my machine now has CNC, so the process is going to be a bit quicker. The first step is to mount the part up in the shop task lathe. A uh, 5 inch 3 jaw chuck. I'm not being too careful about centering this, it's uh, already had some machining operations on the part. And we're about to drill it with a 5 8 drill with no center hole, so it's probably going to move a bit. Uh, this is just a clearance hole, so uh, we'll straighten it up afterwards. Now I do the centering, uh, getting the part to its original center, which takes a bit of faffing around and tapping and loosening of the chuck. Now I install tool number six, which is the eight millimeter boring bar, and set the G54 uh, machine offsets for Z to the face of the part using a feeler gauge. Now I hit the go button on the CNC operation for the boring bar. If you're enjoying this video, please click on the like button. If you're not enjoying this video, why are you still here? And if you have any ideas or uh, that what you'd like me to video in the future, uh, let me know in the comments. Well, it's very shiny, but there's a step in there. Why is there a step in there? That should blend. Well, 
Turns out that I can't count. It was supposed to be five and a half turns on the tail post, and I did six and a half. So this is, the drill is a uh, tenth of an inch too deep and will probably ruin this part because that's the entire height of the part once it's parted off. Adjusting the speed down to the lowest speed uh, with belt change and fitting the threading tool. And then we hit the continue button for uh, doing the threading operation. Uh, the threading operation is a routine I wrote uh, that you just give it the thread uh, size and, and length and it will do an initial chamfer. It will very slowly uh, do the outer diameter of the part. These have been pre-turned to under that size so there's nothing coming off on this pass. And then at the back it will do another little chamfer and then it gets into the main threading operation. In the moment of truth, will it thread? Yay! Threading. So that's a good thread, even though the whole uh, the cavity is going to be too deep on that particular part. So what happens when you make videos?